The Seattle Mariners were a complete bust in 2015 as they were favored to be World Series contenders, yet they didn't even finish with a 500 record. The team is at long shot odds of 50 to 1 to win the 2016 World Series. They're at odds of 25 to 1 to win the American League pennant and at 2 to 1 odds to win the American League West. Last season, the Mariners went 76 and 86, going 36 and 45 at home and 40 and 41 on the road. They were 79, 76 and 7 on the over-under. The lack of success cost a lot of people their jobs at the Mariners. They brought in former Angels GM Jerry Depoto and new manager Scott Surveys replaces Lloyd McClendon. Depoto wasted no time cleaning house as there is a long list of new players. The question is whether Depoto can mesh all of the new players together to form a winning team in 2016. The Seattle Mariners are welcoming in more than 10 new players and they got rid of five. The Mariners still have Felix Hernandez at the top of their rotation, but they need the King to pitch a lot better than he did last season. The team tried to trade Hasashi Iwakuma, but he failed the physical and is back with Seattle. The Mariners need him because he is a very reliable starter. The Mariners expect that Wade Miley will be a very good number three, and then it is up to Tijuan Walker, James Paxton, and Nate Carnes to fill in the other two spots. The Mariners still have their core players in the lineup of Robinson Cano, Nelson Cruz, and Kyle Sager, so they should score runs. The addition of Nori Aoki and Lenny's Martin should give the team more speed and a much better outfield defense. The Mariners will miss Carson Smith, who they traded to get Miley, so they had better hope that Steve Sishek regains the form he once had with the Marlins. He was really poor last season, and if he struggles, the Mariners will have a major hole in the bullpen. The team did bring in Joaquin Benoit and Evan Scribner, but both are better suited as setup men. Some players to watch for 2016, if the Mariners are to contend this season, then they need Felix Hernandez to be a lot more dominant than he was in 2015. Hernandez won 18 games, but he really didn't pitch well for parts of the season, and his ERA for the season was closer to four than it was to three. The Mariners also need a rebound season from Robinson Cano, who didn't look like a franchise player in 2015. He hit .287 with 21 home runs, but he had only 87 RBIs. There is no doubt the Mariners overpaid to get Cano a couple of years ago, but now they are stuck with him, and he needs to produce. If the Mariners are going to win, then they also need Steve Sishek to be a dominant closer. There is simply no margin for error for the Mariners this season, and they can't be giving away games in the ninth inning. The Mariners' 2016 fate could depend on Sishek.